Oh my goodness, he better not score. Oh gosh, look at this damn score, man. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. I'm blessed bringing you some Madden 13 gameplay. As you can see, I'm bringing you my MVP Mondays. And Peyton Manning not looking so MVP-like early on in this game, man. Uh, I got to tell you, this is probably one of the greatest, the greatest comebacks of all time, man. Y'all watch the game while I spit out these stats to prove Peyton Manning should be MVP. Uh, last week, I did Adrian Peterson, and he added on 200 more yards to whatever I gave you. And he's just dominating this league right now. So AP is going to be hard to beat. Look at Frank Gore, man. Thinking he AP. But uh, anyway, guys, Peyton Manning. 67.9 completion percentage. He's third behind only Alex Smith and Matt Ryan. And only Matt Ryan has thrown more than 300 passes in that category. Peyton Manning also has 4,016 yards. He's ranked sixth in that category behind Drew Brees who has an amazing wide receiver core behind Tom Brady, who has Wes Welker, Brandon Lloyd, Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez, and he's just Tom Brady. Tony Romo, who has Des Bryant, Miles Austin, and whenever he decides to show up, Jason Witten. Also, Matthew Stafford, who has Calvin Johnson. That's all you need. And Matt Ryan, who has Julio Jones and Roddy White. While Peyton Manning is doing this with Demarius Thomas. Uh, I'm not taking nothing away from Demarius Thomas. But Demarius Thomas is not being considered an elite wide receiver in this league. And look at the score guys. The score is already 30-0 to zero, man. Start the comeback. So here we go. I'm, I, I pretty much gave up at this point in the game. I'm just running. I'm like oh my goodness. Ah uh, man I, I wanted to kneel the ball. So I decided to come back. And I was like ah it's too late. I ran out of bounds. So I ended up messing up here. But anyway this is where I start my comeback. Uh, where was I? So Matt Ryan, he's doing it with Dem Demarius Thomas. So he's six in that category. He has 31 TDs on the year. He's ranked third in that category. Only behind Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers, who has Greg Jennings. And he's just Aaron Rodgers. And they pass a lot. But uh, 10 picks. He threw 10 picks this year. Eight less than Drew Brees. And two more than Aaron Rodgers. So he's doing pretty good in that category. Pretty, uh, I want. I don't want to say mediocre, but pretty much on par for everybody else. And Tom Brady has only six picks, I believe. So I mean, they're doing pretty good in that. He's doing pretty good in that category. Category. He is a 103.5 passer rating. One point separates him and first place. He is currently in fourth in that category, only behind Aaron Rodgers, RG3. And Alex Smith and Aaron Rodgers is the only one that managed to throw more than 300 uh, complete more than 300 passes also Peyton Manning is the only one in that category averaging more than 285 yards a game Aaron Rodgers doesn't average that much neither does RG3 and damn sure neither does Alex Smith Alex Smith is productive when he's in the game but they try not to give him too many opportunities so that states my case for Peyton Manning, man. If he's not MVP, he is definitely a strong candidate for comeback player of the year, especially going to the Denver Broncos, starting a new system. Um, it's not even really a new system. It's more of the, the Peyton Manning system. But anyway, I get the ball back. He punts it off to me. And uh, here we go. I'm down 14 to 30. I almost rage quit. Like, you have no idea how much I wanted to rage quit in this game. I think I might have even really contemplate turning off the game but I'm not one to quit a game even if I'm losing by this much I'm just like yo I'll ride it out and hit the uh, concede defeat and here we go Eric Decker taking it to the house going deep going long can't touch him but uh pretty much put the game in reach for me I'm down by two points and in the very next play he gets the ball back and it hits me with this p this bs can't stand that that was bs Vaughn Miller should have had that speaking of Vaughn Miller in my opinion, Von Miller is really overrated. He's a 98-rated linebacker. I don't understand how. Alden Smith leads the leagues in sacks. Von Miller is in second. Alden Smith has three more tackles than Von Miller does. And maybe, I think, like eight less tackles than J.J. Watt. 
I'm just saying, Alden Smith is a better outside linebacker. How is Vaughn Miller so high rating? I, I just don't understand how this is possible. But anyway, give me your opinion on that. But anyway, Peyton Manning, MVP. I get the pass interference here. And I'm struggling to make a comeback. Every time I get close, he ends up pulling away. So here we go. I go to Baby Gronkowski and um, bring it within one. And Joe Dreesen takes it in for the uh, for the score. So I go for two here. Tie it up. No Sean Moreno. Ties it up. So here we go. He runs it with Frank Gore. I pretty much got that on lock. Uh, kind of with the, with the hit stick. But it's all right, though. Uh, ain't no thing to me. And here we go. I'm, try I'm trying to watch Vernon Davis because he's been pretty much going to Vernon Davis as an outlet uh, once I started scoring. So he really avoided his game plan and kind of went away from it. So I kind of kept Vernon Davis on lock for the most part. And he's just swerving with Colin Kaepernick. And Porter drops the pick. Should have had that. And there, man, I defensive player hands goes up. That should have been a pick. But Vaughn Miller comes through and kind of gets the interception for me. With this second pick of the game, Peyton Manning gets back and does his thing. Demarius Thomas moving the ball. We move in the chains. That seam route was open all the time. And Rice called well, kind of getting his thing done in the fade routes. Uh, Eric Decker once again for another touchdown. I go up 43 to 36, and here we go. I'm got ah that should have been a pick, but it's all right though. He comes back, he throws the ball uh, wide open. Vernon Davis misses him. That's what you get for rolling with the cap. And uh, here I'm trying to watch Vernon Davis, and I just couldn't quite get there. Uh, DJ Williams just not quick enough to get there. And here we go. I pretty much smelt that route as soon as I seen him go wide. As soon as I seen him go on a slant route, I was like, up. Oh, I know what he's doing. So I ended up taking that back, and uh, here I'm just trying to run out the clock, trying to get him to use some timeouts, trying to eat up some clock, run some first downs maybe. And uh, I kind of ruined that. I should have ran on the inside before I uh, broke it out. And here Peyton Manning messes up, throws another pick to Carlos Rogers. Um, so here I'm, I'm sitting here like, oh, man, he better not score. Two minutes left. I'm about to ruin this. He goes to Manningham, and here we go. Runs with Frank Gore for first down. He gets the first down, guys. I'm, I'm sweating. Sweating bricks. I don't know what to do. So he tries to run with the cap. I take him down. I'm like, yeah, I'm in good position right now. I uh, pretty much got this on lock. And I kind of messed up there because I'm trying to watch for the screen. He's been trying to go to the screen all game. And Frank Gore is just a little man beast doing his thing. So here we go. 51 seconds left. Can Leonard do something for me? Uh, no, he can't, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried to. I fooled you guys. Peyton Manning almost gets hit. Stays in the pocket. Delivers to Demarius Thomas. And what? Demarius Thomas open again. That he, Peyton Manning put that on the money. 25 seconds left. He has two timeouts. I make him eat up one of his timeouts. No Sean Moreno runs the ball. I kneel the ball for one last time. Call a timeout. Two seconds left. And look at this stupid lag. He trying to cheese me. He trying to get me. He hating on me. Hating on the comeback. I come back. Win it by two points. It's your boy. I'm blessed. Take this man's 15 points from him. Add 14 to my bank account. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces. I'm out.